Hi guys, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for July, whoa, July the 7th until uh, the 21st. Um, so this is the last chance to order some readings before I go on holidays. I'll be leaving on Sunday, so I'm still booking readings right now. Okay, um, so I think I'm going to do um, a Celtic wing, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the Divine Masculine. I'm going to alternate with the Call It Baron Reed and the, the John Holland here. And I'll use my cards, of course, as clarifiers. Okay. Sorry about getting this reading out late to you guys. Okay. So, beginning, I think, with... Um, actually, we'll start with the Colette. Um, beginning with your present position home in reverse, but I think I have the deck upside down, so let me just, oh, let's see what the next one is, yeah, okay, so I have it upside down, so home, um, for me this says that you've discovered that home is within yourself, uh, also home is where the heart is, right, so um, there's a peaceful feeling, um, you know, like unconditional love, family surrounding you. So I'm going to read the card and then I'm going to pull the clarifiers afterwards, okay? Okay. You're comfortable in your own skin. You belong. Peace, security, safety, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It is time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person that makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love, and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you were meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on the path, regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. So, yeah, I'm feeling like community, um, you know, reaching out to your sisters and brothers and connecting. Um, so, you know, expand that feeling of, of home to your neighborhood, you know, your, your town, um, your city, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's like that vibration of home will be sent out and everyone can feel that energy. So it's beautiful. Okay. Throat chakra, wheel of fortune, and a high priestess. So throat chakra is in the past position. There's a past, present, and future here. Um, so there was some communication or, you know, this could represent you listening to your inner voice, but, you know, since this is my number one communication card, um, I'm going to say that a very important communication occurred um, that gave you a sense of safety, um, a feeling of home. Um, or, you know, maybe you expressed yourself on some level, whether it be writing a letter to yourself and then, you know, destroying it. I don't know. It's, it's like an expression. You, you, um, you spoke up is what I'm feeling. The Wheel of Fortune is present position so this card is um destiny so it's like destiny is knocking on that door um so what i feel here is you're surrendering to destiny um this card represents significant changes happening in your environment um so you know there's like this cyclone of of uh, activity but here you are in stillness you know giving and receiving unconditional love with those around you. Um, beautiful, grounded energy there. So this also represents karma coming back to you in a good way. So all the work that you've done um, in the past, you're starting to see the reward from it. So this represents a completion of a cycle from five to 10 years. And uh, so there's a real sense of accomplishment um, as well as abundance on its way. 
So future position, we got the high priestess. So there's going to be a situation in the future that will call for you to go within and listen to your intuition, um, your higher self. Uh, so since this is a divine feminine reading, I really see a lot of feminines activating the third eye uh, in the near future. You know, it's this feeling of safety and, and surrender is really providing a beautiful environment for you to um, get in touch with yourself. Um, so you're surrendering to that process, the change, allowing what to be to be. So the foundation, I'm going to use... John Holland, Eight of Cups, Emotional Withdrawal. So, you know, again, I, I'm, that's kind of what I was feeling with this um, series of cards, is a withdrawal, a going within, looking after yourself, self-love. Um, but again, also really getting in tune with yourself. So the Eight of Cups is withdrawal from an emotional situation that was draining you. Uh, so this is a pilgrimage in search of self, and it's, I love how you've kind of graduated, uh, you know, from this beginning of the journey to now being the high priestess, which is awesome. Seven of Swords, the World card, and the Knight of Cups. So the past position, we have the Seven of Swords. So that's deception, feeling like somebody's, um, you know, stabbing you in the back or you don't know all the truth and, uh, you know, you're being deceived. Uh, so you're just questioning the energy that's around you. Um, and so it's in the past position, which is beautiful because this card here, Eight of Cups, represents moving on away from that and going within. Um, so you've put the past behind you, you've left any negative thoughts, um, you know, in the past. So the present position we have, the world card, so this is the end of a fool's journey. Uh, so it's a cycle of completion from 20 years to a lifetime. So for a lot of feminines, they've reached a pivotal moment in their journey where they, um, are not influenced by the mind or, you know, emotional, not abuse, but manipulation. Okay, they've completed that. They're no longer um, chained to that kind of, you know, energy. They've found peace. They've accomplished much. This is massive achievement. Uh, the universe is congratulating you on, on, you know, completing this journey on whatever level. Um, so it's a constant process, right? So this will reduce back down to the full. Uh, so, you know, starting from zero over, over again. And it feels to me like that's what you, you did. You accomplished that, that home, that not needing anything out there. Home is within. So that's so beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> so in the future position we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a knight in shining armor. Um, this is, you know, offering your hand in marriage or it is a longing for a long-term relationship. So it's a commitment card, but it is, like I said, it's longing for it. So what I'm really seeing here is just an openness to love. Um, and, you know, it's like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve and it doesn't matter if if it's a divine uh, masculine or just a random pe person you meet at the market or something like that, you know what I mean? It's just you're giving your love to all and you're moving through life. You're moving forward with an open heart. Um, so this could also mean that, um, you know, there was an offer of love in your past after completion from this, you know, you um, you've gotten to the point where you're completely conscious and heart chakra open and that's drawing you know um, love into your life um, or you could be sending messages of love and moving forward on some with some of your twin flame connections um, or vice versa so either way love is surrounding you okay so um, recent past position, so healing the ouch, I already know this one was up, right, because I looked at it earlier, 
Um, so this is a feeling of, you know, healing. Um, you being, being the healer, you know, uh, sending out positive vibrations and, um, you know, just loving energy. That gentle kindness um, can really, you know, go far. So I'll read that to you. And it also says that you've done a lot of healing while you've been in this retreat. Okay, heal the out. Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. This is a time for great soothing of heart, body, soul, and mind. As this card indicates that healing will be prevalent in your life now. If you feel drawn to study the healing arts, you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness. However, the message may be that you are being called to change your behavior in order to, to heal the earth. Perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty-free diet, eating less meat, or perhaps you'll pay more attention to how much water or electricity you use. You're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life and to commit to the healing path. The Heal the Ouch card may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliation are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. So, um, you know, what I'm seeing here, if you've reached out, you know, and communicated in the past, um, it's... You know, you were sending out healing energy and it's, you know, you're being recognized as healing the earth and to continue to do so. So, you know what I mean? I, it's kind of repeating what I was saying in this card. Um, home, it's just send out that vibration and it heals. Um, it goes a long way. So, three cards. Four of cups. Six of swords. And the page of swords so four of cups past position so this is what you're healing from um, you know it seems to me that there was a disconnect um, that basically hurt your heart um, really affected you on a deep level uh, because we see here that you're walking away from that okay so the four of cups is disconnect um, it's offering somebody um, a cup of love and them kind of turning their back on it, rejecting it. Um, it is also a longing energy. It's, you know, feeling uneasy because the situation is out of your control. Um, so you've lost control. So, you know, it's nervous, like, what do I do kind of feeling. Um, so that's in the past. So that's what you've, you're healing from. Um, you are walking away from any negative um, behavior, thoughts, or emotions. You are moving, or you have moved to a calmer state, a, a stillness, a peace. The Page of Swords is in the future position, so this is um, knowing your truth. It is coming to a realization. Um, so, you know, this is an idea. It's like an aha moment kind of thing. It's like, oh, okay. So it's like the, the path to healing or the path to, um, you know, the divine connection is self-love. So you need to detach yourself from something that is draining you, you know, whether it be a twin flame connection or somebody in an environment. So it's a disconnect and it's a self-love. Um, and there's also a sub message also to reach out to other people and spread that healing energy around the earth. Now, the Page of Swords also is a, an important communication card. So we got two of them in the past position, and they're right, you know, side by side here. So um, either, like I said, um, a, a very honest, open communication happened in the recent past, or there is a desire to communicate something um but i'm really feeling it's a um profound um, conversation you know that ultimately uh had you walking 
away from a situation so that you can, you know, it's a self-love action there. And now you feel comfortable in your own skin. You feel at home. You don't feel that there's anything out there that you require to make you feel whole. Okay, so um, what is it that you hope or fear? Three of Wands. Um, partnerships and alliances. So hope or fear position. Um, usually this represents, you know, in the right of weight deck that you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. You made a decision to follow a different path that was more in line with who you are, you know, um, like um, your higher calling. So you walked out that, you know, imaginary door. And so you started putting um, work um, into this idea, this realization. And so this is now starting to see the payoff. Um, but there's more work that needs to be done. And so, you know, it's movement forward. You're getting the thumbs up from spirit. Um, this also represents, you know, two people coming together in a partnership to um, work towards a common goal. So hope or fear, I'm not feeling it just yet. So let's see what else comes. Base chakra. Ace of wands and the seven of pentacles so i'm feeling waiting here is the issue so you're waiting you know you're starting to see the fruits of your labor but there's still more work to do and more waiting required with the three of wands and it's reflected here um so the base chakra in the past position so this is safety security a feeling of home you've achieved that you know that chakra is wide open um so the Ace of Wands in the present position is a new start. Um, it's that, you know, that idea, right? Um, this awakening, illumination. It's like a, a rebirth um, on, a, on a spiritual path. Um, so, you know, it's a go light, go time. It's a Kundalini awakening as well. So this is a golden thread connecting the crown chakra to... Uh, source and also to your twin in the 5D um, but it is having that idea and it's awakening your spirit so there's a a drive a, you know this burning flame is is growing inside of you and you it's like you need to do something I want to do something with this right so it's like you're looking to the future um, and you're considering all the possibilities so there's a reevaluation and um, a planning that I see going on with the feminine in the future. So you hope to um, accomplish. Um, well, you already have uh, accomplished this sense of safety, no doubt about it. But there's a, like uh, it's almost like you're waiting for you know the masculine to reach out and take your hand so that you can begin this new uh, life together. Um, in the future position we have the seven, seven of pentacles which is more weight right it's also putting a lot of work and effort into something in the 3d reality and then waiting for that that harvest waiting for the ships to return waiting for the tides to turn in your favor okay so um crossroads position near future okay jesus okay now i'm going to start pulling all these upside down let me just kind of tilt it a little bit Okay, um, so this is the compass. So it's kind of like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune in a way. Um, but really, you know, it talks about using your internal compass to guide you. So I'll read that. Okay, as long as you are in your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of, of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, prosperity, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along your journey. Know that spirit is working in your life. 
So even if you feel lost temporarily, it may be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. And that's, you know, the true north kind of thing. Um, okay, three cards. Wow, judgment. Eight of wands. And eight of pentacles. So past position is the grand awakening. So it's illumination. It's realizing your life is just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So um, this is a rebirth, a realization that you can have a different life. Okay, so... It's your life flashing before your eyes. So you've had that illumination and you know that's what's connected you to your higher higher self and to source. Um, you can never be lost as long as you have that connection and it's quite obvious that you know that connection is very strong. Um, the Eight of Wands is uh, movement. So it's an excited movement, uplifting. Um, it could also represent what it, you know the picture what you see here it's people talking on the phone communication texting so uh, this is my second most important communication card so throat chakra number one um, the eight of wands and then uh, pages page of swords and then the ace of swords so um, it's almost like you know communication comes in from um, that has to do with illumination, awakening. Um, it's, you know, this card is sending out vibrations, intentions uh, to manifest, and then now that energy is coming back to you. So, you know, it's this showering down of vibrant energy, and it has to do with spirituality. So is this card, so is this card. Um, so, you know, and maybe an offer comes in or, you know, you have this epiphany that kind of sets you on a path to your higher calling. Um, either way, it, it, you got a lot of work ahead of you. <laughs> so the eight of pentacles is in your future position. So this is positive movement forward. Um, this is yaha and then this is either travel or, you know, moving to another town or, um, taking up an offer and putting you know getting to work more or less so um it is um abundance it's starting to see the fruits of your labor and again continuing to work but you're feeling very motivated okay so from the john holland what are you resisting hope uh so this is a star card this is healing okay so there's that repeated theme of healing but it's in your resisting position so this card also represents uh, wish granted so you know it could be um, talking about the eight of wands energy here you know I'm really feeling especially with the compass you know there's like a star in the, in the sky your true north star and it's raining down these eight of wands onto you it's abundance you know achievement reward victory um also uh cupid's arrows um but you're not looking up you don't see that your wishes and dreams are coming true um instead you're looking down and you're focusing your attention on this one thing um so let's see what else the king of pentacles three of wands and the three of swords so, or sorry, the King of Pentacles in the past position. Um, okay, so it could be an Earth sign, um, or it could represent, you know, accomplishment. Um, this card represents, um, you know, harvest, achievement, independence. Um, you know, having a lot of abundance coming in and not having to worry about money. Um, so your focus is on your family, your friends, your, your loved ones. Um, so this is also a father figure. Um, so it could represent the divine masculine as well, you know, in terms of being the 3D, um, you know, masculine. So it's in the past position. So let's continue on. Um, three of Wands is your present position. Now, where did I see that? Right here. So what you hope for is the Three of Wands. 
Um, but what you're resisting is the Three of Wands. So there's that that feeling again of there's something right in front of your face, but you're just not seeing it. Uh, you're choosing not to believe that you are achieving a lot, that your dreams are coming true. Okay, so Three of Swords is in the future position. So this is heartbreak. Um, so it's like you're avoiding this series of cards because you don't want to have your heart broken and that's a self-fulfilling prophecy or um, maybe you're resisting feeling the emotional loss that may have occurred during this period of time or um, I don't know I'll have to pull an Osho card for that because it's in your future position right so if you're resisting a masculine energy um, I don't know, that's polio show. Okay. You're resisting being hopeful. Okay. Um, so, control. So, there's that freaking King of Swords again. Okay, there's a time and a place for control, but if we put it in charge of our lives, we end up totally rigid. The figure encased in the angles of a pyramid shape that surrounds him, the light glitters and glints off his shiny surface, but does not penetrate. It's as if he is almost mummified inside the structure he's built up around himself. His fists are clenched and he stares, his stare is blank and almost blind. The lower part of his body beneath the table is a knife point, a cutting edge that divides and separates. His world is ordered and perfect, but it is not alive. He cannot allow any spontaneity or vulnerability to enter it. The image of the king of clouds reminds us to take a deep breath, loosen our neckties and take it easy. If mistakes happen, it's okay. If things go a little out of hand, it's probably just what the doctor ordered. There is much, much more to life than being on top of things. Um, yeah, um, you know, it goes back to what I was saying, like that fearful heart, self-fulfilling prophecy and becoming closed off, right? Not realizing how much you've accomplished. Um, you're just not seeing the bright side of things is what I'm seeing here on some level, I don't know, because um, you've already realized that home is within, um, and there is great abundance coming towards you, but maybe you're just in a, you know, this, you're lost in yourself right now, and maybe that's a great thing, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not going to worry about all this stuff, okay, I'm not going to, it's like you're putting your foot down on some level just let what be be okay so internal environment magic prayer this showed up um, in the divine masculine reading I think oops where's my book okay magic prayer Speak your prayer, listen for the answer, act in faith. When you see the magic prayer, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, thy will be done through me, thy will not, thy, oh my God, I always mess that up. Thy will be done through me, thy will and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through a ritual, of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you surely, you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact 
with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. So there's that on the right path. Um, so yeah, I mean, that just confirmed what I said. It's like you, you're already put your intentions out there um, and you're just releasing it. You're not um, attaching to it. Nine of Swords. Nice. The Chariot. Four of Pentacles. Um, okay, so Nine of Swords, past position, um, anxiety, stress, fear, guilt, worry, that, you know, um, and then you have, you know, clarity of thought, you put that shit to rest, no more, so it's an ending, and it's coming in the past position, bam, you're now surfing, um, so this is riding a wave of emotions, you know, pursuing your dreams, taking control using that board to um, direct you through the vortex over obstacles. Um, so you're internally, you have surrendered and you're no longer worrying about, you know, the other half. Um, instead, you're moving forward and you're pursuing the things that make you happy. And because you do that, the wish will be brought back to you through the law of attraction. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is in the future position, so this is a feeling of being closed off, not letting anybody in, or holding on too tightly to something. So I think it's a warning, you know, to stay open, okay? Um, don't become closed off. Don't become as rigid as the, the King of Swords. Feel, you know, feel that energy vibrating through you and energizing you. Um, so it, it's you know shine your light from within don't um, you know don't let that worry and fear come back to haunt you on some level I don't know okay so what is in your external environment rescue um, so you know, this is somebody crying out for help, for, you know, um, being almost like a victim mentality. Okay. You're always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do as you expand your life. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issues is at hand now. You only need ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get, get into a right, yeah, sorry. Get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need ask and you will receive there is no need to fear safety is a place within wow um so i'm seeing a repeated theme of safety you know is a is a place within really going within yourself and using that vibrant energy to heal you um but this isn't something that's in your external environment um so you know, kind of mimics this card over here where you you want the masculine to reach out on some level. You want to come together and manifest your dreams. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that reaching out energy is right here. It's like, you know, it's not, the divine masculine wants to reach out on some level. Okay, so. Seven of Wands. Divine Masculine, there you go, and the Queen of Swords. Um, Seven of Wands, past position. So this is empowerment. Um, this is also speaking up, speaking out, expressing yourself, finding your voice, knowing your core values and beliefs, and not giving in, and not compromising. You know, it's going after what you want um, and not backing down. Uh, so it's in the past position. So. This, again, there's a communication thing that happened in the past, um, and for the masculine, it empowered him. Uh, so the present position, there you go, divine masculine. There, he needs to reach out or desires to reach out, but he's afraid to. 
um, and you know, it's like I said, it mimics that safety is a place within, you know, point your compass to north. So the feminine seems to be aligned. I really love how the, you know, there's a, a meditating um, energy here and it's kind of pointing to true north. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's awesome. Okay, there now you can kind of see how, you know, home, uh, this person is sitting on a beach just outside of their home, um, you know, and also they're turning within home. Um, the compass is home within. Same thing here, you know, it's, it's beautiful now. And also this card represents shining your light for all to see. Um, so, yeah, um, the masculine feels disconnected um, and um, you know desires to reach out and have a communication have a discussion and I'm saying that because the Queen of Swords is in the future position so where's the king down here so we have uh, two card court, or court cards of the same suit so and also the page down there. So um, uh, the Queen of Swords is somebody who will speak um, truthfully, um, will, won't bullshit you, and also is able to see through bullshit. Um, so this is cutting away barriers to communication. Um, and uh, she holds a sword of truth as well. So, you know, it's like he wants to reach out and communicate uh, speak his truth and he's being represented as a divine masculine you can't get any more divine than that right so um, he's finding his power his strength in, in in order to to actually do that reach out to um, the divine feminine you Okay, so um, final outcome for these three cards, balance. So you achieve balance, harmony. Um, this card also talks about karma coming back to you in a good way. You, what you reap, you sow, right? So it's repeated theme of the Eight of Wands there and the Star card and wish granted. You've sent out this energy and now it's coming back. Magician. Four of Swords and the Strength card. So the Magician past position. This is Crown Chakra activation. This is focused intention on a project, on an idea, um, and it's you know manifesting that idea into the three D reality. So you are transforming your environment just from the power of thought. So this is also representing your connection to source, you know, that kundalini, that golden thread. So you've been active. You've been manifesting the fuck out of your reality, uh, sending out those seeds, going after what you desire, you know, not being drawn into negative thought. That's awesome. Four of Swords is uh, healing. You um, are like in this state of stillness. Uh, this is, you know, quieting the mind, um, you know, again, not engaging in negative thinking. Um, it's also healing energy as well, repeated theme. So you're, um, you're continuing to manifest while you're in this meditative state. Uh, the future position is a strength card. So this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation. Um, so I think that you, you know, you're just in this open, peaceful, manifesting state and you're just, you know, open to whatever comes into your life and whatever happens, you will use this love in order to deal with it. I don't know. Um, so I think I will use a call it bear and read for the summary outcome. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, that's right. So this one's in reverse. Field of dreams. I 
Okay, so this one is in reverse. Field of dreams. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential. Reversed. Your dreams... Are your dreams your own, or are they really someone else's? Have you chased money, possessions, and pe prestige? Have you placed security above fulfillment? Has approval seeking played a major role in your motivation to succeed? This is a time for you to assess the validity of your dreams, your talents, and your willingness to be a channel for inspiration and creativity. Don't be afraid to enter the field of dreams, for you can always clear the ground for new and better things to grow. Nature has a way of self-correcting. If you're willing to act with authenticity, the power to create is inside you. Awesome. So that's confirmation of you really coming into your power and realizing how you can manifest whatever you desire. Um, so even though it's in reverse, it's still a beautiful card. Okay, so it, it's asking you to check yourself. Who are you living your life for? Yourself or somebody else? Six of Cups. The King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so a lot of kings are showing up in this reading. Um, so I, I see all the kings as the divine masculine and all the queens as uh, the divine feminine. Um, I like to read them as energies rather than actual people, but if you know if you see this as a fire sign, you know, so be it, earth sign. I just find it, it confuses things a little bit too much. Okay, six of cups, past position. So, um, you know, this is showing an attachment. Okay, when we did the twin flame reading, it showed that you were kind of sitting by the door waiting for your long loss to walk through it. And it's mirroring that energy uh, again here. It's like, you know, you, are your dreams your own? Are you thinking of things that happened in the past and longing for it? You know, it's time to um, dream a new dream. Um, you know, focus on self-love and... Um, empowerment and that's basically you know that's what you do here so um, I'm really seeing this as you becoming empowered even though there's a masculine here I see it as you taking on masculine qualities um, so this would be a leader a rebel um, uh, you know they, it has to do with spiritual, spirituality as well so shining your light from within um, just really taking uh, control of your life and not being attached to anything um, so it's freedom um, yeah so in the future position we have the knight of pentacles so this is movement forward very slowly um, so you know, this is manifesting your dreams, you know, um, taking one day at a time, um, but not really attaching to it. It's like you're, you're, you're just kind of going through life, um, free spirited, um, but you're making progress. You're not allowing anything to hold you back. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, you're living your own life now and um, you will reach your destination on some level, you know, if there is something out that, that, there that you've sent your intention out for, it will come back to you. Um, but I'm really feeling you're kind of just in this space of now, in peace, in solitude, turning within the high priestess. Um, and you know your power, right? And you know that everything is moving ahead steadily. Uh, you're trusting in destiny. You're trusting in source. They're trusting the process. And final outcome. Into the unknown. Awesome. So again, re repeated theme. Trusting and destiny. Okay. Into the unknown. Trust and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. 
This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into the unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a pathmaker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. So, yeah, it's um, trust. <laughs> okay. The moon, nice. Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So the moon, that's fear, um, you know, negative energy that you've walked away from. And you're stepping out of that darkness into the light and just trusting. And you're um, following your heart. Uh, so this is a page of cups. So it could be communicating love or love, uh, you know, messages of love coming towards you. Um, so again, with that communication... Um, and you will get that communication in the future. The Ace of Swords is my number four communication card. So, um, you know, follow your heart. Um, be open to love like the Page of Cups there. And just trust. Follow your heart. Trust. And, whoa, sorry. And know your know yourself. Know your truth. Um, and don't be afraid to express yourself. So, just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. I'll look at the bottom of the deck for the call of Barry Stormfield. So that's being the calm within the storm. Like I was saying, here in your present moment, there's a lot of change, and you're like in this still state, trusting. Oops, easy. Okay, so this too shall pass. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things you, you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent-up energy needs to be released, just as a storm in nature must break for these events to occur. When the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder, uh, sorry, period, <laughs> Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside of you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. And that's exactly what I was saying. It's like this these wind, wind is coming in and it's you know, shaking things up and sending out these seeds into the field of potential. Um, and so just surrender to it. Allow that change to occur. You know, like I said, focus on yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from Miss and Mermaids. This will be the final message from the universe. Archimboldo Mermaid. Hmm. Didn't the masculine get this? I don't know. All the readings run together. Okay. Alone we drift distractedly, a party drawn apart. Together we're invincible, a living work of art. At first glance, she's uh, a pretty mermaid lass, gazing soulfully with her large pale eyes. Closer inspection reveals a myriad of fish and other ocean dwellers that comprise her luxuriant tail, combining to create a living work of art. The sum of your parts. Lately you have been experiencing feelings of self-deprecation. Maybe you have been studying your figure with a dissatisfied eye or bemoaning the size of your feet. You need to stop the hypocritical analyzing before you sink any lower. You're so much more than the collection of your parts. Other people don't look at you through the lens of a microscope, and it's unhealthy to do so for yourself. Concentrate instead on the beautiful person you are as a whole and treat yourself with love and affection. So there we go, that self-love. Don't, you know, allow negative energy to make you feel like shit about yourself and allow the wind of change to wash away whatever it is that is making you feel that way. 
Okay, so, yep, comments are welcome, and I thank you for joining me. Much love.